beautiful people. Yeah, so I haven't done a great deal of recording this week, but it's because partly I've been really busy. I've got loads to tell you about. Uh, partly because I've got some really good ideas. Um, yeah, so first of all, I have had a really strange day, but good. I will tell you all about this later on only reason being i'm not doing that whole thing where i leave you on a cliffhanger so that you stay subscribed and you come and blah, 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 blah. i'm not doing that what i am doing is being very careful because it's all a bit top secret so i can't exactly post it on the internet just in case but if slash when anything transpires i will let you know anyway a couple of things i wanted to talk to you about so i mentioned in one of my earlier videos about me battling mental illnesses which is very true however today i feel very positive about this and i feel like i want to take this opportunity to really 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 let you know that if you feel shitty it's okay you're human it doesn't matter why, it doesn't matter if you've got a diagnosis, if you haven't got a diagnosis, if you're waiting for a diagnosis. If you don't feel good, there is nothing wrong with that. And you should do everything in your power to make sure that that changes. Whether that is, okay, today I need a duvet day, I'm not going to move today, I'm going to watch awful things on TV, I'm going to listen to crappy music, I'm going to eat 15 packets of biscuits and 6 Big Macs that's what it takes you do it just do it because there's a thing that i'm currently learning about called self-care now i'm not very good at that and what it basically means is it's really hard to say this without swearing what this means is that you disregard everyone else you disregard worrying about everybody else worrying what people might think about you you disregard it all and you stop for a second and you say right what do i want what do I want right now and what is going to make me happy? That's what you need to do. And every time you feel rubbish, you need to ask yourself that question. And if the answer is sit in a dark room and not move for eight hours, that is okay. If that's what it takes, that is what you need to do. I wouldn't recommend doing it every single day and then that becomes a little bit of a different story. But my best advice to anybody battling depression, anxiety, paranoia, bipolar disorder, cyclothymia, whatever it is, whatever it is, whatever you're battling with at the moment, if it's making you feel bad and it's making you think bad things, be kind to yourself. That is what you need to do. You need to stop. You need to ask yourself what you want and you need to go and do those things. And make it happen, okay? and think outside the box which i know is really really easier said than done when you're feeling like that but be creative if i don't know if what you really want is to be on the other side of the world on a sunbed with a margarita and that's not quite possible improvise okay work with me improvise compromise and do what makes you happy when it makes you happy don't think about the future don't think about what might happen tomorrow next month next year don't think about it you have to do what you believe is right in that moment and if you believe it's right in that moment you can't regret it you can't regret it because at once upon a time you believed it was the right decision and that is having faith in yourself my best advice is if you're feeling bad baby steps little little things when you start getting anxious and when you start getting panicky about something that you're worrying about and it's this huge thing that just is incomprehensible break it down into the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest little pieces and battle each one individually and before you know it, you're done. And that is how you do it, in my opinion. You might think that's a load of rubbish, but that's just my advice. But um, my other thing I wanted to talk to you about is, I'm gonna pan down in a minute so you can see the t-shirt that I'm wearing. I have come across a guy called Aidan Hatfield on Twitter. He is a musician, to my knowledge and he also runs a clothing company that donates 50% of all profits to Mind Charity. So that's 50% of all profits to Mind Charity. And the clothes are pretty awesome. I'm gonna drop the link in the description for you. If hats are your thing, you can get a backpack, different types of t-shirts, vests, hoodies, really cool clothes, all with this slogan, in music we trust. Now I believe, if you're watching this Asian and I'm wrong, please correct me, but I believe that slogan comes from the fact that so many people will stop and listen to music and music is really powerful music can change change your mood change your 
perspective on life, it can do so much to the human mind. And it may not be your bag, but seriously, I'm pretty sure that every single person on the planet has at least one song. They know if they listen to it, it will bring back happy memories, or it will make them feel more positive, or it will motivate them, or something like that. Music's pretty damn powerful. But yeah, those are the two main things I wanted to talk to you about in terms of seriousness. Partly because I've just, I don't know if I said this, I've just had a counselling session, and I feel amazing afterwards. There have been times where I've been for counselling sessions in the past where you come out and you think, right, so you made me talk about all that and then you're just leaving me here like a wreck. Okay, thanks. And it's really not helpful. I'm with a really good guy at the moment and I believe in what he does. We're going in a positive direction, so really, really happy about that. And that's what's made me want to come home, sit in front of my camera and talk to you guys about that because, believe it or not, it was one of the main things that made me want to start blogging in the first place. And I know there are loads of people out there that say, oh, I want to, you know, break the stigma and all the rest of it, which is a brilliant thing to do. But the m when I started blogging, I just found myself chatting and just getting my thoughts out, which is really helpful, but I didn't really have a purpose or a theme. I'm not saying this is going to be my purpose and my theme, but it is certainly going to be an undercurrent because it's such a huge part of my life. So, and if there's anybody out there that I can help, um, I may talk about some of my own experiences in some of my videos, but we'll we'll see what sort of press this video gets and uh, we'll go from there because at the end of the day, people are kicking back and relaxing. The sad truth is that they probably don't want to hear about somebody else's misery. Or you might. I don't know. I don't know. And this is all just one big experiment for me because I'm still learning. But something I do want to say is thank you to absolutely everybody that has supported me so far. It's really good. I feel really, really positive. So, um, yeah, it's a good day good day. Last but by no means least on an unrelated note, Dragon Vapor who you've probably heard me speak about loads. Um, I'm very proud to be organising their very first uh, summer event so um, I'm going to also drop the link to the website where you can get tickets uh, in the description. Tickets are free by the way. Free. Free. <laughs> Just need to get the tickets come because we need to know how many people basically so yeah i'll drop the link in the description to that if you know anybody that vapes if you're a vapor yourself it's going to be well worth coming towards it's going to be giveaways discounted juice competitions social food and alcoholic drinks i think that's a pretty good way to draw people in to be honest but yeah so link in the description for that i'm going to be jabbering on about it for the next two months i'm pretty sure that's everything i wanted to cover actually yeah peace out